perfect, just like Ed Wood. Me getting introduced by Michael Flores, fearless leader of Chicago Psychotronic Film Society, the man who first gave me the name, the Ed Wood of the 90s, back in 1992. I have revived the monster! The Adventurers of Jack. attacked again. There is Travis. And suddenly the devil ant showed up. Uh, 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 ah, gotcha. Hey, what's it like meeting devil ant? Amazing. Yeah. And what's it like being in Dave Rock Nelson's movies? Even better. Yeah. You'll be world famous and world renowned. And your name and my name will be enshrined among the immortals. Yeah. Just like Dr. Frankenstein. My first movie is Frankenstein vs. Sodom and Saint. I'm going to kill Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> Inspired by the Iraqi War, Desert Storm, and all those classic monster movies I saw, and plus my being in the Marines, and my wanting to stop Saddam because of all the mayhem and you know, killing people, and, and his soldiers killing people, and, and, and oh, I just, all the atrocities they committed, I wanted them to be stopped. How does it feel, Frankie? Good, huh? Well, here it comes again, Frankie. Ready? Here's my Marine Corps sea bag that I got when I was in the Philippines, 1980. You can see the bottom. Oh, here, let me turn the light on here. This light is messed up. Look at that. See, it says that. Can you see that? Corporal Nelson, D E URA, 21280. But you know, because see, I was a Marine, man. And once a Marine, always a Marine. I was a Marine from 76 to 80. They used to name me Corporal Ura down at Fighting Fox Company, 2nd Battalion, 8th Mar Div, 8th Marine Division at Camp Geiger, North Carolina. From 78 to 1980, I was with Senior DI Staff Sergeant John Hoskins. He was a bad guy. He said, Nelson, he'd say, Nelson, you know what I think about you? And I said, no, sir. He said, I think you're weird. Do you understand? I said, yes, sir. One, sir. Two, sir. Aye, aye, sir. One, sir. Don't bend the knee, sir. Two, sir. Heels up the line and touch him, sir. Oh. I'd say, two sir, heels on the line and touching sir. He'd say, never mind that Nelson, just get out of my face. See, I'm heating up my job in the microwave. I'm nuking it with atomic fallout radiation so I can turn into a coffee monster. That's a movie I'm doing, Coffee Monster. That's one of the movies I want to do next. Where the radiation, I'll probably stick it in the microwave and I treat it down in my dungeon with atomic fallout radiation. And I turn into like a rat-headed coffee monster. I, I constantly, I'm obsessed with job. I take everybody's coffee and start drinking it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go down to my dungeon now. Yeah. Well, I don't edit on a computer right now because I really don't know how, but I have edited some of my YouTube videos and made shorter versions, right? It's kind of hard. I haven't really got the swing of it yet, but a couple, I did it a few times. So come into my dungeon. Watch out for your bag there. And this is where I edit my movies, okay? And this is what I do. I sit here and I got my camcorders hooked up to my VCR here. And these are some of my some of my tapes. I got like a hundred in other places. I just got these on display today so you can see them. You know, little eight millimeter cartridges. It's a high video eight. That's video eight, not high eight. This is my big foot. So what I do is I edit this way. I play the I play the footage on this from my raw footage. And then I uh, I use my my little uh, control here. And I pause it, you know, where I want to pause it, and then I press record when I want to record the next scene. Like, so I, I do it that way. And so I edit each scene at a time on video. And then once I finish the video, the master, then I make a DVD copy of it. And I'll show you where I do that. And so this, this is where I, uh, I make the copies of my movies. That's the DVD recorder that makes, made all the copies of your movies that I sold you. And here's the DVD player that I play them in. So, you know, what I do is I, um, I play the movie in here, and the, the master DVD, I play it in there. It's hooked up to my DVD recorder down there. And when I press play, and then I have a, a blank disc, you know, I have a blank video disc in there. And when it starts playing, I press record with this button. And it makes a recording of the movie. And it records it in chapters, you know, like every 10 minutes is like a chapter. 
That's a good DVD. I get brand new. See, there it is. It's a Sanyo DVD recorder, VCR DVD recorder combo unit. Not a DVD player. It's a DVD recorder. I got that at uh, Walmart for like 172 bucks. That's good. Those are good, man. In 1999, I finished my movie, The Devil Ant. Now, that's a full-length feature. There's the original Devil Ant. That's the original Devil Ant. That's the original one for the opening scenes of Devil Ant. That's the I got this for $1.69 in 1994. And you know that I was a teenage mummy. I got down there. There's the poster. I was a teenage mummy. That that movie inspired my mummy AD 1993. <laughs> yes, so mummy, go get him. The Detective Rock character where he's eating. It was inspired by the god, the detective in that movie that uh, pigs out on donuts. I thought, hey, I can do that in my movies. So I started eating donuts in my movies. And then it developed into Detective Rock. And then I have meeting all the time. Too busy looking for monsters. I'm too busy eat, eating, eating girls on my job and watching monster movies to be bothered with, with an investigation. And then uh, look at here's my werewolf mask used in Conrad Brooks versus the werewolf. Look at that. It's using all my werewolf movies. Look at the dry rot ate it up. That's all that's left of it. The beer started to have an effect on the woman. Then there was a full moon. She changed into the werewolf again. <clears throat> I'm, you know, my critics, you know, the people that say, oh, Rock, your movies suck. Where are they now? Where are they now? What are they doing? Are they following their hobbies? Are they following their dreams? Are they doing what it is that gives them excitement? What, what gets them up in the morning? What it is that they want to, or did they say, well, I'm not Steven Spielberg, or I'm not Marilyn Monroe, or I'm not Robert De Niro. Hey, there's only one of those, but be yourself. I'm myself. I follow my dream. I don't have to be as good as Steven Spielberg. If you want to make movies, make them. Get yourself a camera like me. Anybody you can drag in front of the camera, your friends, your family, your dog. If you have to play all the roles yourself, wear different disguises and be like me. I couldn't get friends of mine with chicken out. They didn't want to be in my movies when I started out. Do what you feel comfortable with. It doesn't matter if it's shot on video or digital, as long as you shoot the movie. If all you got is a video camera, use that. If all you got is a pocket camera, Use that. You can make a movie with a small pocket camera. You don't need a big camera like Robert Rodriguez. Oh, if I have a camera like him, I'll be famous like him. No, you won't. The reason he's successful is he kept doing what he did. And he kept doing it and doing it. And that's how people get successful, when you keep doing it over and over. It's not the size of your camera. It's the size of your vision. Amen, brother. I, amen. I'll, I'll drink a toast of Java to that. And with that, I will say, my deadline's gonna get you if you don't buy my movies and you don't enjoy this documentary. If you don't enjoy this show with David the Rock, my deadline's gonna get you. Eh, eh. Yeah, perfect, right in the lens. And fiend me on Facebook and see me on YouTube. Fiend me on Facebook and become my fiend. Search for David Rock Nelson. Or I, the rock monster, will get you. Ah, ah. And my deadline's gonna get you. Ah. I'll see you.